Hi viewers, I am Salim with you. Welcome to my channel, Salim's Learning Simplified. Today, I will be dealing with how to draw reproductive system in male. There were so many requests about drawing various diagrams. Many of them asked about reproductive system. It looks a bit complicated in its overall structure. In my diagram, I'll specifically keep an eye to separate various parts which are just making this, you know, come closer or stay near and making it complicated. So guys, let's get to the diagram. Basically, we can divide the diagram into three parts. And I'm using three colors for that so that you can identify exactly what is what the part. So, to remember those, we can use a small word. I mean, okay, I've written at the edge of the board. Of course, you can read it. Edge. Okay, this E small letter must have noticed. Here we go, the three major parts of the reproductive system in male. They include the duct system for D, the gland system for G, and external genitalia for E. By the way, just to remember, I gave this letter E there to make it edge, otherwise you will not get a sense to how to remember it. By the way, these are the three things, I repeat, duct system, glands, and external genitalia. I'll be using black color for duct system, and then a purple color for glands, and blue color for external genitalia. Let's go. The most important thing about the diagram is, the proportion of various parts, testicles, penis, all should keep the proportion. Sometimes people draw a diagram in which testicles are bigger but penis is small or sometimes penis is bigger but testicles are small. These all are not acceptable. There should be a proper proportion in the diagram. Let's get into it. First of all, I'll just pair, draw a pair of testicles. All right. It can be, you know, one bit big, bigger, smaller, no matter, it happens. And now, inside the testicle, there are so many testicular lobules or locules, which has seminiferous tubules in it. This lobules or locules contains tubule-like structure. So you can just see, I'm just trying, trying to draw some tubules inside this. And they are called seminiferous tubules and most of the tubules just opens into one side of the test is from which they make small ducts which comes out and later enter into you know a bunch of ducts which looks like you know a bag of worms all right and from there you can draw one of this duct going up so it's that simple only. As you have explained one side, you're not going to explain it on the other side. So you can just leave it like that. And you know, the copy of this one, the same way, it's mirror image we have to, we are supposed to draw here the outer part, right? Okay. So once we have drawn these two parts, next is drawing the urinary bladder. So here we have to just draw the urinary bladder just make sure that it is almost the middle of this two testicles all right here we go so that means this is near and supposed to keep it a little far all right okay and then these are the two ureters entering the urinary bladder and then they are just forming the bladder with this shape Okay, it forms the bladder shape and from the middle of the bladder, let's continue later on. Okay. So, this particular tube which is going up generally referred as seminiferous tubule. I mean, sorry, this is referred as vas deferens. It takes, it takes a turn over the bladder like this. So, let's try it as double lined. Okay, guys. And it turns like this and 
you know it needs a support it needs a support so it is using the tubule the ureter as a support and it just takes a turn over that and returns down as a descends down same way here also we have to go ahead all right and it takes a turn over it and descends so So, and it descends like this. Here also the same way, descends. So you understand the concept that it is just taking a support. Otherwise, otherwise these testicles are hanging, no, and the abdomen. So it needs some support to hang. That's why it is taking the support from here. All right. Okay. Now, let's get back to the next word set. All right, here, a little more near. These two, you know, the edges of this one is just going all the way and trying to join with a tube from here. All right, here also we have the same. It's just getting and joining with the tube, which starts from here. And the tube goes all the way like this down. Okay, so here is the major concept to get so this hanging and it descending now once we reached this tip of this tube we have almost done completed the duct system so it's a time to shift my color now we are supposed to get to the glands dge so the glands first of all let me make a small opening over here and I'm supposed to draw the gland over there. Just draw like this. Draw a tube coming out, projecting out. And on that, you can draw the gland called seminal vesicle. Okay, so here we go with the same way. That is the gland called seminal vesicle. Gland number one. Sorry guys, here I have to just fix it up. All right. Now, let's go for the gland number two, which comes at this junction. Actually, it is a gland and into the gland, you know, the urethra coming from the urinary bladder. This tube is the urethra. The urethra is entering into that gland and even this, uh, this uh, vas deferens is getting joined to that gland. All together meets at a single part, place and the gland is like, you know, okay, let me draw it like a you know something like this something like spherical and just remember it's a three-dimensional concept it is actually uh, piercing and getting inside this all right so that's a gland there okay that is another gland and on the way here just make a small notch i mean a, a small cut and then we are supposed to draw another set of gland there so these are the three glands which comes under the heading G. So next we can go for what the heading E, external genitalia. That is actually the part which is visible from outside. All these things, these glands, the urinary bladder, everything is not visible from outside. External genitalia is the only part which is visible from outside. That's why it's called as external genitalia. Okay, so for that, what shall we do? We have to just so I'm using blue color for external genitalia. Here we go. We just plan to draw the external genitalia equal, th equal thickness on both the sides. Okay. And then after coming to a particular length, after going a particular length down, all right, just keep the proportion in mind. What we have to, we have to do, this particular line should reach over here. Of course, you know, that does a part of, that's a part of, the duct system all right it goes all the way till the tip of this okay now in external genitalia special muscles are there so i need to draw the muscles like this the muscles which forms or strengthen the penis and then
we go ahead like this down all the way and then here okay from this muscles we are drawing a special structure which comes and ends here so i need to just make this meet here okay and then this outer line which i drew should take a small shape like this okay guys we are not done a very important thing is missing what is that we did everything we felt like okay no this scrotum should cover the testicles you understand what i mean okay if this line covering is not drawn how the testicles can stay there in the air it's impossible okay so don't forget that and then this scrotum can just go a little more up it hangs from the abdomen and just to show that this chest can extend a little like this that line spins now let's go to label all the parts okay so here we go this is the topmost part that's called urinary bladder and this two things i mean the two tubes coming from the kidney to the urinary bladder and that could be called as ureter so remember that this is on the top okay there are two kinds of what two tubes are there ureter and urethra people always confuse that so let me tell you uh, ureter the word ter is saying you know the last word says last letter says ter means terrace and thra means below so terrace you can just keep like that terrace means above and the above part would come in urinary i mean ureter ureter and the below one this one this one is going down and that's called urethra hope you understand how to distinguish them ureter and urethra by the way here uh, let's continue seminal vesicle this gland that we drew here is called seminal vesicle okay this structure this vesicle structure over here is called prostate gland by the way prostate cancer is a common reason for you know uh, death in adult human male and there is yet another pair of glands available here which is connected below prostate and it is connected to the urethra and this that is having two names you have to understand both the names what way question comes we don't know so it's generally called as bulbo urethral gland bulbo urethral gland or sometimes referred as cowper's gland cowper's gland all right now this part this muscular structure is called penis which is a part of the external genitalia and then we come to the end edge of this penis we can see a bit fleshy like lob and that's called glans penis glans and then the gland spinis ends with you know the tip of that is having an opening and remember it's a common opening for both urine as well as sperm to be ejaculated so that opening is called urethral opening or opening urethral opening or urethra sometimes urethral meters like that also we can read about now so that is the major areas over here when we get into uh, you know this part almost like okay here we have on the left side uh, this is called this covering is called scrotum which is covering and protecting and as you know the temperature of scrotum and testicles is always 
2 degree lesser than the body temperature remember it's a very important point to keep in mind okay body temperature is 37 at 37 normally sperm growth is affected and sperm die so the body keeps a bit less temperature that to below the body it doesn't keep the testes inside the body it keeps the testes down hanging from the abdomen separately and 2 degree less in that so that sperms will not be affected so wonderful makeup from god and then let's get for what the other part this is called the testis okay testis plural and testis singular and let's go for what the various uh, you know these are the various you know uh, small locules testicular lobules testicular lobules and then inside that there are so many tubes which is coiled and coiled and kept inside this you could notice that this tube and that tube is called seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubules now all the seminiferous tubules opens to this area called retate testis and retate testis opens to you know various small tubes here and that tubes are called vasa deferentia later on vasa afferentia opens to a bag of worm like structure called epididymis and then next what we can see is the tube going all the way up and that's called vas deferens okay vas deferens so that is what the major parts in the drawing guys one more important thing to keep in mind basically what is the function of human male reproductive system it produces sperms in a special white colored fluid called semen and the semen contains so many things and common question that asks for exam is what are the constituents of semen okay how to recollect a very simple way i'll tell you all right the semen is basically required for the production of a baby isn't it so just think about a baby a smiling baby's face let me draw a smiling baby's face here here we go you can see that face okay the smiling baby and right on the top instead of the hair right face and that is what semen contains semen contains fructose amino acids calcium ions and enzymes i repeat semen contains fructose amino acid calcium ions and various enzymes so that is the main thing which keeps sperms uh, having the motility alive throughout the journey and give all the nutrients for them to be staying there in the vagina without dying till the process of fertilization so hope you like the video hope you enjoyed if you have any questions or any doubt to clear kindly comment under this if you are seeing my video useful kindly subscribe and share to your friends thank you and have a good day